What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about SoFi. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what really influenced it, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up, and with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, SoFi did close flat, but... I think it was still a relatively positive day because it didn't get manipulated down below the closest strike price. So I think in general, even though today was a relatively tame slash boring day, SoFi at least did something right. So they finally were able to close above, uh, again, a strike price, even though it wasn't really that strong of a wall. I'm going to go over all that in a second, but the low for today was 655, high of 673. That'll make a little bit more sense once I go over the technicals in a second, but today was kind of low volume. So 18.9 million shares being traded, 41.9 is the average. And it wasn't necessarily just SoFi, but pretty much across the board, it was abnormally low volume, same as yesterday. So I think there is just a certain level of fear in the broader market still. And even in fact, the fear and greed index is still under the extreme fear category and it is at 24. So like I mentioned, like uh, I think it was like a month ago that there was going to be most likely a big rotation from money markets into equities, especially with the optimism of back-to-back -back rate cuts. But because of everything that's been happening over this last week, I think the inverse is happening. So most likely money is leaving equities going into more so money markets as well as the bond sector because I think right now a lot of the data like institutions aren't all that satisfied and willing to kind of invest right now. Even today, very only two transactions above $100,000 did occur and that is definitely somewhat of an interesting change from the last previous day. So normally you get a good about 10, 15 transactions. Today there was only two. So very abnormal when it comes down to that. So majority of the volume that did happen today was linked to shorting as well as algorithmic trading. So I want to talk about all of that and stuff that you need to know. So again, uh, I've been monitoring the overall market volume and it has been reducing. So it is fair to assume that money is going back into money markets or bonds because when it comes down to bonds it's inverse to interest rates right so with interest rates potentially being cut bonds in theory should be going up so that's why uh yeah maybe that might be happening behind the scenes but as of right now for the september 18th meeting i like to bring this up because this definitely would really affect sofi there is a 48.5 percent likelihood of a 50 basis point cut and that's actually gone down a little bit from 57 yesterday so i think the market's somewhat normalizing if that makes sense so not all that much fear in the broader market based on this because last thursday and friday i think this was at like 90 so meaning there was a 90 percent likelihood of a 50 basis point cut and then like a 10 percent likelihood of a 75 basis point cut so i think the market is still fearful but not to that same degree that was last week the market's absolutely crazy like i did a post i think it was a couple days back like is this just now the new norm, like 10% up and then 10% down is like, it's all over the place. It's kind of crazy to think of, but like I said, majority of the volume did come from shorts today. And so net amount, they did increase 4.36 million shares. And looking at the intraday, it was more so oriented towards kind of the center part right here, but still it doesn't look like they really influenced the stock price all that much. So they did increase about the 4.36 million, 17% of the free flow is being shorted, works out to be 177.94 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average is a little bit lower than Thursday, then cost of borrow minimum is negative 0.2. So you do see that popping back up once again. And one thing as well, I just wanted to share with you. So you did see one sell first thing for 590,000 and then one buy for 100,000. So going back over here, so you do see the shares available. So first thing this morning, and normally when it comes down to SoFi, as you can kind of see, it's always in excess of 10 million. And then randomly it just drops and then goes back to in excess of 10 million. So I think this is a fair assumption that a big entity that has millions of shares of SoFi is lending them out for, purpose, uh, for shorting purposes. So I think this is really confirmation that either BlackRock or Vanguard is obviously buying SoFi shares for the purposes of lending them out. So 
not necessarily the best. And this is why I, I like to analyze a lot of this random information. It might not seem relevant at the time, but this is why you can kind of piece things together. Someone who has more than, like I said, four plus million shares um, is able to kind of influence this. So something to keep in mind. But going into next week, though, you do see a little bit of opportunity. So this is the current open interest. So with SoFi closing above 650, so you do have that 12,000 in open interest. That does mean market makers come Monday are going to most likely go to the open market to cover that 1.2 million shares. So you might see a little blip, nice bump up in the stock price come once the market does open. And going into next week, you already do see 35,000 at that $7 strike price, 24,000 at the 750, 38,000 at that eight. And then of course, seven at that six and 5,000 at that 650. So going into next week, you might be able to see a run up up to that $7 mark. So in theory, that might be a good thing. Right now, like I said, 655 the low, it did bounce off of this S1. So 655 is a very strong support. On the flip side, 707 is gonna be the next strong resistance slash target. But like I said, in between that point, you also do have that very large wall already at that $7 mark. So you're gonna see market makers and shorts just naturally trying to protect that. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm gonna go into this plus a little bit more detail on a kind of a macro viewpoint on this upcoming weekend video that I will put out on Sunday. But aside from that though, you did see just more consolidation over this last couple of trading days, a lot of volatility. So if you guys haven't learned options, highly recommend doing in doing so because it can be very, very profitable uh, during times of uncertainty and volatility. And um, right now looking at stochastic though, you do see it at roughly around 25. So arguably still considered oversold. So if a good piece of news that does come out, then you might have a rush of value investors rushing into SoFi. And then looking right here, number of retail investors were getting in over this last several trading days. Not necessarily today, it actually looks like they were slowly selling out a little bit. So if you're one of those individuals that did sell out today, potentially why? Are you fearful about something happening over this weekend that might cause some uncertainty, potentially from the Middle East or some other black swan event or something like that as what a lot of people like to be calling it over the last little bit so yeah what's your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe hopefully everyone has a fun filled weekend my painting is going to be or i mean uh, my weekend is going to be all painting clearly i have painting on the mind cannot wait to already be done that and i appreciate the, for those of you that did leave some recommendations in the comments on my last video but yeah with all that said i appreciate all of you guys watching mm -hmm.